Yeah. Part time wages on down transfer station now. Yep. Um, up 25.68%. Yep. Yeah. We never, we used to have a part time uh, person to work the transfer station. Um, they left. Um, we ceased that. We actually hired the person back, uh, James, James Hafey. He's our uh, staff engineer. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't uh, that he was uh, lacking in his work profession. After that, the decision was made by me after a number of issues at the um, transfer station to staff the weekend with only persons qualified, if you will, to do the work internally. Mm -hmm. uh, those possessing a solid waste license uh, and sticking with the contract, giving the, uh, the part-time work to the Teamsters first. So the reason that line is up is because you didn't have a part-time person there last year right. and you're getting back the guy you had a couple of years ago. Well, he's back, but because he's not a Teamster, I'm not putting him on the transfer station on the weekend. Plus, there'd be no cost savings because now that he's a town employee full-time with benefits, oh, I see. it would so be. he's not a part-time. No. Part -time. Okay, right. so that's a different topic. It's correct. All right. So I'm not clear as to why the part-time is up 26% from us. All the other, yeah, the other increase was that I stopped paying $11 mm -hmm. and paying 14 for my part-timers, which is actually equal to what the starting salary is for either SEA or a Teamster. Did you bring up a, a question that was emailed to everybody, I guess, but primarily to you? Was that raised? I didn't hear. No. Okay. Chris, uh, we received an email from uh, Mike Pierce, which I believe you were CC'd mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. uh, he asked a question about a union contract or something like that. Right. Um, I partially did address it when addressing the overtime in the transfer station, but I do have a response. Um, okay. For everybody's uh, Would you application. email Matt, reply to the email, reply all with that response? And you're happy to read as much of it as you want to, but I would oh. like to see electronically okay. as well from my All right. Okay. Um, Could you read the question, please, first? The question was why um, don't we still use a part-time person to be the manager of the transfer station on the weekends um, because it would result in a uh, from Mr. Pierce's uh, assertions it would re definitely result in a, a decrease in, in salaries and thus benefit to the budget so my reasons were um, uh, it was my decision to make all work and working conditions within the department as safe as possible to protect the employees and the residents who visit the transfer station. The transfer station is a work area that has trip and fall hazards that are best minimized by staffing the station with personnel who are acutely aware of the situation. Um, a huge por portion of our residential waste, at least the delivered portion, comes in during the weekend. It's the highest risk time we have. I made a decision as the director not to staff it with someone who is not a full-time employee uh, of the transfer station, at least most of the time. Um, the way it works is uh, within the union agreements is if you're the head of the transfer station, you're the transfer station coordinator, where you get you, you have the first cut, if you will, or first try at working the weekend shifts. The reason why we had had a part-time person in the past is Mark Richardson, as the current coordinator, had, had enough of working every single weekend. Um, after Jim Hafey stepped away as the weekend coordinator, um, Frank Swift, Teresa McGinnis, and, um, Toby Spainhauer all elected to step up to the plate as Teamsters and share in that that work because they're all all three of them are more acutely trained and aware of what needed to be done my second reason for staffing it the way we have is that each week the state of waste disposal and recycling changes and the, my decision was to staff the station with personnel trained to identify hazardous waste or other potential substances which would cause loss or injury to the town um, We've had uh, wood pellets 
Oh, they went out a week ago, thrown into the transfer station. I drive into the station, the trailer's on fire because they've been pushed forward. It's those kind of um, risks that are um, inherent with transfer station operations. And the reason I feel, and I put down that I understand that the focus of the budget committee is to examine our budget and seek possible cost savings for the taxpayer. This position is one where I believe that the taxpayer is best served by staffing the transfer station with the best trained staff as possible. That's the decision I made and why I made it. <clears throat> I'm looking at Mike's email now. I, I believe that the question he was asking, it's clear, it's clear he's asking uh, where in the union contract uh, it, it specifies, as you, you said last year to his question, yeah. when he was on the budget committee, he asked this question, and your response was the union contract requires it. And according to his email, he's been looking where in the contract, he hasn't been able to find it. And he was asking for you to direct him as to where to find it. The only thing and, that in uh, the contract that speaks to it would be Article 10, Section 1. Overtime will be offered on a rotating base within the job classification. Overtime will be distributed as evenly as possible. Um, because of those, partially because of that language, I also went with the current and, staffing methodology. And in Pierce's email, um, he writes that he did find in the recognition clause right. words that, in effect, say the part-time weekend position is not a union position. Correct. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's objecting to the fact that you're using union personnel to fill a non-union position as defined by the union contract. So I wanted to be clear that his email was properly represented to this body. You've given your answer. I'm not going to argue about it. I just wanted it to be clear as to what was going on because not the whole world of TV land got this email. Correct. But everyone in this body did get the email. We can enjoy it. And I'll enjoy seeing your email response so that we can look at it more clearly. Okay. And now move on to other interesting stuff. <laughs> 